three. Three rounds remaining in the 2020 championship, which got underway in bizarre circumstances at Misano back in July. Well, in 2020, everything that was able to get underway at all has been bizarre, has it not? The previous round of the championship held at Monza just two weeks ago produced a sensational upset. Finland's Patrick Pasma dominating to take two race wins and KIC Motorsports' first wins ever in the series. At the same time, Jean-Luc Petikoff wrestled back the series lead from his teammate Arthur Leclerc by just 11 points. Arthur having a weekend to forget. The lead is only just a few points, but as if he doesn't have his teammate to worry about, this weekend the Norwegian Red Bull star Dennis Hauger joins the field driving the 62 Van Emmersfoort racing car. You may remember Dennis beat John Luca to the 2019 Italian F4 Championship in the final round. And this weekend they resume their rivalry here at the home of the Spanish F1 Grand Prix. Also making a return to the championship is Matteo Nanini. The 17-year-old Italian nephew of the 1989 Japanese Grand Prix winner Alessandro is driving the 15 Monolight racing car replacing the injured Andrea Cola. Nanini no stranger to the series after racing with us in 2019. So the series is being fought out between the Prema Power team drivers, but Hauger is certainly here to spoil the party. Welcome to the Catalan capital. Welcome to Barcelona and round six of the FIA Formula Regional European Championship. the best seat in the house, inside the helmet of the Italian driver Emilio Pesce as he takes you for a lap of the Barcelona circuit. Sports, a driver's eye view of Barcelona with Emilio Pesce aboard the number 41 DR Formula racing car. dominance in qualifying had been reminiscent of that of Mercedes in Formula One, well that all came to an end in Barcelona. The writing was on the wall on Friday when series debutant Dennis Hauger went fastest in practice with his teammate Pierre-Louis Chauvet second quickest. The sun had start to set when we took to the Catalan circuit for qualifying and immediately it was Patrick Pasma who continued his great form from Monza going P1. 
but then the Van Amersfoort Racing drivers struck back. A 140.791 for Chauvet, a tenth of a second quicker than his new Norwegian teammate. Pasma was third right up until Rasmussen completed his final flying lap, but the Premo driver was still four tenths from P1. Chauvet taking his first pole of the season from his teammate Hauga. Oliver Rasmussen third from Pasma and Arthur Leclerc and Matteo Nanini a superb sixth for the Mono Light Racing Team. Matteo was ahead remarkably of the series leader, Jean-Luca Petikoff. Nanini was straight out of the blocks for Q2, immediately going fastest ahead of Petikoff and Jamie Chadwick. The reigning W Series champion looking for a good result at the Spanish round of the series. But on his fourth lap, Hauga responded, putting down a time of 140.642 a time that would not be beaten, sensationally taking pole position on debut in the series. His teammate Chauvet exactly one tenth behind for Van Emmershort Racing, a VAR front row lockout of the grid. Rasmussen again, the top Premier driver in third place, reminding everybody that he is still in contention for the title. He was ahead of his teammates Leclerc and Petikoff, Monza round winner Pasma, Nanini, Lapalainen, who interestingly was quickest in a straight line at Barcelona at 247 k's an hour. Then came Henry on, Chadwick and the Italian Emilio Pesce. So the grid is set. The Dutch team lock out the front row of the grid for race one with Chauvet and Hauger. Yeah, it's really nice to be uh, to be back with them. We have a really good relationship, so uh, yeah, just want to thank them for uh, for the car and and uh, yeah for the good work ethic. And then we can, we have to keep pushing now, and uh, hopefully we can uh, make some good results tomorrow. For the first time this season, Chauvet will start on pole position. Car three for the Van Emmers Ford Racing Team. Here is the 18-year-old from Menton, down on the French Riviera. Alongside him, Dennis Hauger just receives last-minute instructions from Fakura Gallia, who actually raced that car earlier on in the series. For the first time this weekend in Spain, we race! Chauvet stalls off the line. The pole sitter goes nowhere. Rasmussen from the second row of the grid. Lucky not to run into the back of him. They race down into turn one. Chauvet stranded on the line. Rasmussen right in the middle of the circuit. Dennis on the inside. Leclerc on the outside. Car six. Down into turn one. Will take the lead. Does the Dane here in Spain. Leclerc second. Hauger third now, Chauvet finally gets going. He's the length of the main straight behind the field. A disaster for the pole sitter. There's Lapalainen around the outside of Nanini. Good start by Jamie Chadwick, Gillian Henry on, and the Italian Emilio Pesce right there as well in the 41 DR Formula car. Take a look at this, Chauvet stalls off the line. The field's so lucky to go by and not running to the back of the pole sitter. This is the view from Gillian Henry on. Already doing 100 k's an hour. Just avoids the back of his countryman. Henry on tucks in behind Chadwick for the run down to turn one. So this is the race leader. Oliver Rasmussen, Leclerc in second, car 10. John Luca Petikoff, the series leader, remember? Struggling at this early stage of the weekend behind Patrick Pasma, who dominated last time out at Monza. Matteo throws it over the ripple strip on the exit. Car 15, the mono light racing entry, having to defend from Consta Lapalainen. Gillian just behind. There is Matteo Nanini. Looks good here in the first race of the weekend behind the series leader. Petikov, then it's Lapalainen and Gillian Henry on. Down the inside goes Constant Lapalainen. Nanini runs off the circuit. 
gets airborne, does the Italian. Henry on will round him up around the outside. Wow, Matteo Nanini, all four wheels off the track. Henry on in car 33 goes through. There was sunshine between the Pirelli tyres and the Asheville here in Spain. Take a look at this. As Chauvet dives down the inside, he has recovered. He picks up the Italian who was lucky to get away with that just a few moments ago. The field streamed down the famous straight here at Barcelona. Rasmus and Leclerc, Hauga. Here is Chauvet, the two French drivers. Car three goes by 33. Chauvet, this has been a good recovery. He set the fastest lap of the race after stalling off the start. This is the view from Gillian. Just dives down the inside, does Chauvet. Picks up another place that puts him into seventh. Here is Chauvet. Consta makes it difficult for the pole sitter. Around the outside, there is no space. Lapalainen on the podium last time out at Monza makes it difficult. And Gillian Henry on just tries to draw himself back into the battle. Out front, though, Oliver Rasmussen has driven brilliantly down through the chicane for the final time. The checkered flag, it is the Dane in Spain. Oliver Rasmussen wins race one here in Barcelona. Arthur across the line in second place and Dennis on debut takes position three. Yeah, we knew it was going to be hard for the tyres here. So uh, obviously the first part of the race was really going to be uh, the most important one. Um, he was really pushing hard behind, but uh, yeah, in the end I managed to keep the gap. And then uh, after 50% of the race, I managed to uh, dig a little bit, that gap a bit more. Without doubt, the most competitive junior racing category in the world will finally have one of their own as a champion for their seventh season. Ever since Canadian Lance Stroll won the inaugural title in 2014, the Italian F4 Championship has been dominated by internationals. From Norway to New Zealand and the South Americans from Brazil and Argentina. But in 2020, the Italian drivers are one, two, three in the championship with just two rounds to go. We have known Gabriele Mini ever since he was winning WSK titles in international karting, including the WSK Super Masters Series and finishing runner-up in the 2019 World Championships. He took pole position and then won his first ever car race, which was the first round of the series at Misano back in July. He is the series leader driving the 46 Prema Power Team car. However, he did have a race to forget last time out at Monza. With a 75 point lead and seemingly one hand already on the trophy, his nearest rival Francesco Pizzi came roaring back into contention with two wins in the 51 Van Emma Sport racing car, reigning champions in 2019 with the Norwegian Dennis Hauga. As Pizzi took the checkered flag, Mini ended up in the wall in turn one, coming together with Andrea Rosso. For his part, Rosso, who is still third in the championship, saw his faint title hopes fade even further with this crash. The gap between the Sicilian Mini and the Roman Pizzi was 75 points. Now it is just 36, with 150 points still on offer and just two rounds remaining. Despite the unbelievable nature of the 2020 season, not only have we seen WSK Promotion, along with the Automobile Club of Italy, put together a world-class series, but no less than 37 drivers have so far taken part in the championship, with even more rookies set to debut with an eye on 2021. So many has seen his lead halved, but he is still first in the championship. Pizzi in second and Rosso still not out of it, 76 points behind, has nothing to lose. Brazil's Gabriel Bortoletto is in fourth place, 90 points behind Mini. 
ensuring with almost certainty for the first time in seven years an Italian driver is destined to take out the Italian National Championship. sets here in Spain we get ready to go for the second time as you look at Dennis Hauger the Red Bull Junior from Oslo in Norway on pole position his teammate Chauvet will watch him off the line after that disaster when he stalled in race one earlier in the weekend he's fired up he's the Frenchman and we race Chauvet gets off the line nervously what a start by Arthur around the outside Hauger in the middle of the circuit, Rasmussen racing down into turn one and look at Arthur. Jean-Luc dives down the inside of his teammate. In car 10 there is no space. Hauger into second, Arthur and Jean-Luc side by side. Pentakoff off in the grass, the series leader. Goes back almost to last position on board with the Brazilian. Down into turn one, swarming behind his teammate. Runs out of road, the sun in his eyes on the outside of Leclerc just runs out of road, does not touch, keeps it straight in the grass, runs into nothing or nobody. Rejoins behind Gillian Henry on big job here this afternoon for Jean Luca Petakoff. His teammate Rasmussen leads Nanini up into P5 behind Chauvet, Gillian behind Jamie, and then Jean Luca, the series leader. Jamie Chadwick dives down the inside. Remember, she was on the podium at the first round of the series and Misano. She almost went by Jean-Luc Petakoff, who's in real trouble here this afternoon. Constellapalainen and Emilio Peche. Take a look at this. Off the start, Jean-Luc Petakoff just runs into the marbles. Off the road, rejoins, but a long way down the field. This is Arthur Leclerc, loses the place now to Pierre-Louis Chauvet. And now he's under attack from Patrick Pasma. Leclerc locks the brakes down into turn one. Rasmussen out front, still doing a fine job in position one. Patrick Pasma still all over the back of Leclerc as you ride on board with Jean-Luc just sends it down the inside. Finally takes Gillian Henry on, who just runs out of road. Rasmussen has driven superbly. Dennis Hauger from pole position in second place. Leclerc still trying to defend from Patrick Pasma. The Ferrari Junior down through the chicane. Pasma gets a good run on the driver from Monte Carlo. Battle for fourth and fifth. Leclerc goes defensive. Pasma gets the toe down the straight here in Barcelona. Pulls out. To his left, to the right of your screen, around the outside. Marvellous move from Patrick Pasma. Goes through now into fourth place. As Gillian, also on the last lap, dives down the inside, sends it. And takes Matteo Nanini for position six. Two wins on a super Saturday. Oliver Rasmussen. Takes the checkered flag, wins from Dennis Hauger and Pierre-Louis Chauvet on the podium in position three. John Luca in car 10 just slots into the third grid position. Then Emmersport Racing, well they've dominated qualifying. Are we going to see for the first time this year? First time in two seasons of the FIA Formula Regional European Championship. A victory for the Dutch team. This is Dennis, the Red Bull Junior. Regardless what happens, it's been a fabulous debut in the series for Hauger. This is John Luca Petakoff, still just by a single point 
the series leader. For the final time here in Spain, we race! Chauvet gets off the line smartly. Here come the Prima Power Team drivers. It is Dennis in the middle of the circuit. Petakoff around the outside ahead of Rasmussen. Look at Pasma swarming on the back of Leclerc. Chauvet locks the brakes and Chauvet goes through into the lead. Dennis in second place. And it's Petakoff, Leclerc, Rasmussen, Matteo Nanini on the outside of Patrick Pasma. The opening stages of race three here this afternoon. Rasmussen, the race one and two winner, goes wheel to wheel with Matteo Nanini on the outside of the Dane. You ride on board. There's Rasmussen on the outside. Matteo just calmly runs him off the circuit. Rasmussen ran out of road. Nanini's ahead. He can put the 15 mono light racing car where he wants. Rasmussen lives to fight another day. There's the KIC Motorsport drivers just ahead of Gillian Henry on in car 33. Nanini defensive from Rasmussen. It won't be three wins here this afternoon at this rate. Rasmussen back in the pack as the Dutch team go one and two. It is Chauvet from Hauga. There is Rasmussen still fighting, trying to find a way past Matteo Nanini as Chauvet with 1.1 seconds back to his teammate, Dennis Hauger. The Travel Planet Van Emma Sport Racing Cars, they're in their own world here this afternoon, pulling away. As the KIC Motorsport team showed us at Monza, the Prima Power team are certainly beatable. Matteo Nanini, he's ahead of Rasmussen, who dives down the inside. Nanini again closes the door on the Dane. Now he cuts back, tries to take the mono light racing car, still no way by. The Dane getting frustrated, you ride on board with Oliver Rasmussen. Now a mistake from Nanini. Just runs off the circuit on the ripple strip, coming onto the straight and finally Rasmussen goes through and moves up into position five. Here's Leclerc going through in 14, Rasmussen. Nanini is Pasma and Constellapalainen. Nanini desperately wants the place back as he shadows the Dane down through turns one and two. Well, the KIC Motorsport team just quite haven't had the answer here this weekend. They did dominate last time out at Monza. Still a good performance from Patrick and Consta here this afternoon. Just over the ripple strip on the exit. The race down to turn 10. Dives down the inside of his teammate. Lapalainen takes Pasma for the play. Speaking of the teammates, Rasmussen on the outside of Arthur Leclerc. Runs off the circuit, has to slow. And that will draw Nanini back into the battle. And it gives Leclerc breathing space as well. Nobody is going to catch. Pierre-Louis Chauvet, he's waited so long. He so deserves this. The checkered flag is about to wave. It is PLC in car three. Pierre-Louis Chauvet takes the win. And Dennis Hauger across the line in second place. It's a Van Amersfoort Racing 1-2 here in Spain. Yesterday was uh, hard on start and uh, today I said, OK, now I will just smash it. And uh, yeah, we arrived three in the th side by sides uh, in the first corner. So yeah, I, I break really late, put second and then just went into P1. And uh, then the pace was really good. Uh, we dropped down a little bit at the end to be in 2.2, 2.3. .2, but uh, honestly, the car felt really good and uh, yeah, I led the whole way, so it was nice. Just four points. After six rounds, that is all that separates the two Premier teammates. John Luca just four ahead of Arthur, with Rasmussen after his two wins here in Barcelona. Still in contention for the title, just 19 points behind. Pasma fourth on 206, and Chauvet fifth in the series on 192. There are just two rounds remaining in 2020. The next is the penultimate at Imola on November 22. We'll see you then.